Good afternoon. This is George Lees again. Let me do that. Poppy. <laughs> yeah, this is George Lees again with the poppies that you now understand being the Queen's profiteering icon for all of the war dead that her bloodline have taken to war. Yet generation after generation for way over 2,000 years. Okay? And that is the lot, the mob that started it all. Okay, that is the mob, that is me and my attempts to get the news out that all the Leopold of Austria stuff and all the Arius Calpurnius Piso jokes are on that single image. That's Alpha for Arius to Omega for O. Yeah, Arius Piso is Alpha to Omega on that beautiful uh, mythological uh, symbol that is in every Catholic church on Easter Sunday. Yet yeah, that is Alpha to Omega, the beginning and end of our world. Yeah, and I don't know whether or not our world is going to end, uh, but the gods are now coming back big time. Yeah, and that is the affliction of the Star Wars teams with all of the pathologies that they are now suffering from. I should have had a big image of that man there. Let me see if I can get that one. Oh no, I can't do it now. But that is Arius Copernius Piso, Alpha to Omega, the boss of the whole world. He's the man on the golf course and his story is the most evil in world history and the biggest cause of death. I can show you all the links to the Pilgrim uh, Fathers and how I forced Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin, who was the money man on the Pilgrim Fathers boat, into the, di the uh, divorce case that they were embroiled in. Yet the, all of my story was published and then they had nothing to do but to divorce. It's nothing to do with them. They are just the New World Order's plants to put that operation of the launch of Christianity into uh, perspective and Chris Martin in the real world history was the money man on the Mayflower. Yeah, it's amazing and the storms that God creates when those things are done. Yeah, that is the massive storm that hit John uh, Washington when he was travelling across to become the lineage out of Tring and the Eustaces that were entering in that ancient mansion that are on the bloodlines that I'm going to show you again and again and again today. If we scan down this page there are loads of clues as to why the Pisos are intertwined. There's Lagos the rabbit of Macedonia's bunny ears. There is Hitler Rothschild wearing them uh, as a symbolic gesture there is the Monty Pythons killing rabbits and the rabbits in Operation Winnie the Pooh are Hitler's friends yeah? and they are Winston Churchill's uh, colleagues in that great conflict I think the stammering king was uh, Christopher Robin yeah? uh, and uh, I think Churchill was Tigger uh, and there is Delaney's donkey and there is the lodge like structure for the merchant adventurers that took Christianity into America I've still got the director numbers the merchant adventurers company of Plymouth Limited now dissolved the ones in York I've got the director numbers for and they are administered out of the massive herbal garden that is right next door to London Welsh's rugby pitch in London all of it run by the monarchs still. Okay, the 30 years Christian war coincides with the Mayflower sailing uh, and that is the joke in the movies that that is the people, that one with the beard is the people that play rugby for uh, Stuart's Melville in Scotland and that is the Brewster that was the boss on the Mayflower and the earliest bosses at the Plymouth Colony yet yeah, with the pie, pie piso word in it 
Okay, let me take you back through a series of pictures. Uh, oh no, I need to show you this first. Before I do anything more, and this video gets blocked for copyright reasons, James Blunt is one of the biggest traitors in the whole world because he sings about the Iraq war. He pretends that he was in... So I'll cut off the soundtrack so we're not copying what they're saying. He has married Sophia Wellesley and that is the Sophia Wellesley Wood and that woman goes on to tell us that he is now married into the Duke of Wellington's dynasty and that is the Duke of Wellington who stole the Bank of England from the English way back in 1815. That's the ABBA song and that is Von Wellesley Wood of the Austrian nobility who after World War I and the damaging uh, reputational hazard that all of those elite families out of Austria had uh, they were stripped of their titles and they were sent away so he had to become the Duke of Wellington in Ireland yet like the Duke of Westminster who also runs the puppy fund and that's why he died so young yeah? God is now closing down on all of them and this is the James Blunt that makes the most beautiful songs in the world about the three wise men that were Hitler, Stalin and FDR and Roosevelt was on the Pilgrim Father boats with all of those ancestors and I don't know whether or not Chris Martin is the singer who is the ex-husband of Gwyneth Paltrow who is the ex-Skypey contact of mine uh, she used to write to me about how brave I was to take on the whole world like this but that could well have been just an administrator from uh, David Cameron's regime in 10 Downing Street okay that's Philip Delanoy that is Delano Roosevelt and that is him declaring war on Japan and Germany yeah and uh, he served for three terms I think and then after that uh, his third term was br very very brief uh, and then after that they have to use another president Truman to launch the war on Japan and to end the Japanese resistance okay and all of it is a series of massive jokes uh, and there is the now the terror threat that is the threat of World War 3 and on the boat they have Springer Spaniels and they have uh, bull hounds uh, the, uh, I forget what the name of the the uh, bulldog was that was on the on the uh, Mayflower first sailings ok so did you get it it's a massive set of Christian jokes to implant fascism onto every country in the world and the pilgrims first tasks were to get rid of all of the indigenous Indians and that is America's native sons that all of the white men now sing about and joke about with impunity yet yeah, I'm right next door to the Hilton Hotel and when I went to the Hilton Hotel the other night the woman that is in the massive movie about uh, Christianity and uh, Kevin Klein is in it that's the Clooney Abbey jokes about all of the people and the Cli Cloonies and the Kleins have uh, not Springer Spaniels but they have Cocker Spaniels yeah I don't know the significance of that but that is Martin Clunes and men behaving badly in all these great warmongering for profit genocides uh, and the bastardization and the demonizing of other religions that were launched by that man Arius Copernius Piso too we'll look him up at the end okay so James Blunt is now married into the Duke of Westminster's bloodline. James Blunt is a front man like Harpo Marx was in the old days uh, and, and so was uh, the other Marx character that sings the song about uh, uh, Lydia the tattooed lady and all America's biggest secrets I've got them all in my briefcase now and I take them to the pubs every evening okay and there's all the profiteering and all the gold bars that emanate from those mass murderers 
uh, that take the world to war, even although they were elected, all of them, by saying that they would never take their country to war. There's Anthony Hopkins with the word Piso in it, yeah, leading that ship as the leading person on the Mayflower. And the ship next door, I think, was the little James. And across the water, they got that second ship was flooded, yeah, right up to the gunnels. And that's why some of the passengers had to come across onto Hopkins's vessel. And all of it is published by the v BBC, and all of it is sung about by Coldplay, which is why Christopher Martin, who sings, for some reason I can't explain, I know St. Peter will not call my name at the pearly gates. And this, within weeks of me publishing that, they had to divorce. I don't know why. You know, they could sit it out. My stuff is minor league. They have the whole world to speak to. And that's presumably why she got a conscience when I was prepared to take on the whole world. Because she, I believe, is in those movies about the hobbits. Yeah, and saving people and welcoming them into the... Uh, afterlife, yeah, and that is the joke about St. Peter at the pearly gates. He never lived, and the cock crows out that message, yeah, and that is the Fox News crow crowing out that we are the master race, yeah, both sides of the Atlantic now, that then become the owners of the South Pacific too, and all of it uh, puts them in a really risky position, Gwyneth. I know the whole of her family tree. She has a very, very Jewish background, uh, and all of them are out of Donald's uh, Germanic uh, Palatinate region. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so let's now go to the family trees and show you the jokes, or I'll show you the images that led me into that image, and I'll take you back through them one by one. So that's the Piso family jokes. Do you get it? That is the goddess uh, Sibel waltzing around in the leopard skin clothing uh, and that is Shania Twain who is a goddess, she's a beautiful woman she pretends that she's from a working class background and what the gods have done to her is to take away her capacity to sing with a vocal illness for uh, almost a whole decade and I've been a fan of her through all of that time and that explains to me why when she sings in the Notting Hill movie uh, the song that is a lovely song, I forget what it's called but look up Shania Twain Notting Hill and you'll see that that Shania Twain does not look like anything in the Shania Twain videos that were published before God afflicted her with that illness that is not Jesus Christ that is the Piso family's joke Jesus Christ and there is all the family names, including the Bonos, yeah, and the intermarriages between uh, uh, the Piso family and M. Bono, Priscilla, Nervilla, yeah. Uh, that is the massive jokes about boning your wife, and all of that comes through all of world history. Okay, so let's go back through the pictures and see the little legends that I'm going to show you. To explain those guys down there. <laughs> okay, feet of clay. So there's James Blunt singing No Bravery. He's a profiteer, he's married for power into the massive uh, linkage between Rothschild and Welling the Dukes of Wellington that is Wellesley Wood and Von Wellesley in the Austrian nobility. And that is him singing about the Iraq war crimes of John Anthony Chilcott, the inquest chair, and Tony Blair and George W. Bush, who is a relative of Pierce and Percy. Look up my video that I made on Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton being in the same family bloodlines through all of world history. That's Dame... Uh, 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 sorry, Hillary Clinton was Rodham Rose, and that is the Rothschild family right up to, and her ancestors more recently than Rod and Rose were the people that were the Simpsons and that is the launch of Mrs. Simpson into fascist history as a total diversion for one of their greatest triumphs, the killing of 45 million people. 
and that is the man that sings about the three wise men that led all of those killings FDR a pilgrim father Delanoy yeah was one of the three wise men Churchill was the second and Stalin Rothschild was the third all of those stories take you through the Alois names for their ancestors and the inbreeds with the Rothschild family members who have sired all of the monarchs over most of the world for a huge chunk of world history now and I've got it all explained on the uh, bloodlines right let's go back again so do you get it he's now married to and this is oh sorry I'm going in the wrong direction let me take you back to the beginning it's easier to explain okay so there's the loaves and fishes in the Bible I think you can see where I'm going there is the goddess Sabel played by Shania Twain who's related to Chrétien and Trudeau in Canada that is three presidents in Canada yeah Hillary Clinton is in those bloodlines too there is Mutt her first husband and that is the Mutt killings in the massive uh, George W Bush family oil wealth uh, acquisition on the west coast of America yeah where Motley Flint was shot down in a court hearing because they were scamming all of their customers like David Cameron was with Karen Energy yeah and the links to the Bible in that story are the Jew Gamaliel who's Bill Gamo a knight of the realm under the Queen's thrall and the Queen is on the same bloodline yeah, that's the Windsors that were the Kaiser Bill family uh, sorry that went to school with the Kaiser Bill family and all the elite families that went to that Geneva school that was La Rosie include the terrorists Bin Laden and they include the Arabs Al Fayed uh, and the lover of Princess Diana who got talked by them too okay isn't that lovely yeah and that's why Prince uh, Philip has bailed out yeah he uses the Mountbatten name and he had Mountbatten murdered because he got in his way in the drug running syndicates run by Onassis yeah the next husband of Jackie O after she as an intel presence had had her innocent husband murdered because he wanted to share the central banks that they have now stolen all over the world with the rest of the world yeah, that's why in 1963 we had the wildest winters in Europe that I can ever remember that was the year he was topped and those weather storms are the act of God that kept the river Tweed frozen right up to the end of April <laughs> yeah and I remember the massive snow drifts that were taller uh, than a man by uh, a couple of men's uh, standing on that first man's shoulder it was an absolutely massive frozen winter yeah and all of that is the capacity of the gods to create the biblical floods in the regions that used to connect us to Europe I believe yeah all of it has come about because of human evil uh, and goodness knows what will happen <laughs> yeah if they continue into World War 3 they have the capacity now to create human extinction at the push of a button and Donald's in charge of that button and Theresa May from the Austrian nobility has got it at the other side of the Atlantic and the woman from the Austrian nobility that is Merkel has got it in the centre of Europe ok uh, so I was going to go back to the beginning and show you that the Piso joke is ancient and so long lived ok so there is I think that will be the first one yeah so that is those little piggies went to market yeah this little piggy stayed at home number two this little piggy and I can't remember what it is but that is the reference to the Piso family and the toe sucking at the foot of the willow that had to be removed from even the Lord of the Rings film when it was a cartoon because it's too sensitive yeah, that's the foot of the willow that creates the cricket bats and the toe sucking that Princess Fergie engaged in to divert us all from the fact that the Pisos are all the diversionary front 
for all of the fairy tales in human history. And I can explain most of them to you. The second one is this one. That is all the king's horses. Yeah, the piso icon is the horse. And there is uh, the human race falling from grace. And the piso horse have not got the capacity to put the Osterreich egg together again. Yeah, that is the Austrian nobility falling down in 1919 when all of them were forced to lose their titles but James Blunt is still allowed to marry into them as the Dukes of Wellington centuries later when they are still living in Ireland. Yeah, do you get it? All of the king's horses and that is the piso icon is the horse, the master of the horse is the marshals all over the world and that is the Dukes of Norfolk, Michael Ancrum's wife, and all of the people who run the cathedral at Norfolk, yeah, for using a shareholding release for profit. That's the cathedral at Norfolk, yeah, that is home to the Howards of Norfolk, who were the people that had the innocent man in the uh, Thomas Moore film murdered for being an innocent man trying to do what the king did not want yeah, in the beheading and the execution of all of his wives and that is a continuation of the Salic laws that I explained to you with Gaultier and Donny yesterday the whole of British history the whole of Roman history is a disaster and it is the template for government that the governors have created so that they can forget the people yeah this week they're pretending that they're gonna uh, they're gonna favour the NHS with more money by taxing the people more. They could fund everything that society needs from the central banks, and the people that now get the central bank money and cannot spend it in their lifetime would become global icons and heroes: Hannah Mary Rothschild, Jacob Rothschild, Nathan Rothschild Jr. All of them. Evelyn de Rothschild, you're exposed now. The only thing you can do to get out of it can take us into civilization within six months. I keep saying it, yeah, and all of these jokes will be forgiven and you will become the iconic figureheads that turned the world around and made it a civilization. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> the gods are watching you ever so closely, as you now know. Okay, so, uh, another click, report in Scotland. So the horse is the icon, when you convert that into Greek, you get hippo, and the reporting Scotland 12 hippos, that is the inner circle, yeah, and that is the stars for the European Union. There they are, further down, swimming around at 6 o'clock in the evening, just before Sally Magnuson, who's on the bloodline, yeah, she presents songs of praise because she is a religious mobster. She knows the piso joke because she writes a book on the utility of urine and the use of it as a fuller in laundry. And all of that story is told in Pompeii because when you piss into a bowl and you've got a stain, a greasy stain on your shirt, the acidity of the urine helps you with the laundry. Yeah, and that is the money laundering of all of the people now who include uh, Taylor Swift's diversions. That is the Swift company that is, and all of the massive companies that are run out of East Sussex like the Arundel shareholding scams are for profit. And to get all of those elite funds that could be shared with government, yeah, if the governors were not just futile actors, who've been coerced into their positions. So do you get it? Every one of those stories is a joke and there is the St Andrew's Cross for the non-existent St Andrew that is Alex Salomon's, yeah, that is Salomon Rothschild in Austria. The huge jokes about that being the Vatican icon in the Vaticans and that is the Clooney jokes for that woman that was in the Hilton the night I went there and her name is Lord Hayden Guest uh, and she was given that lordship uh, as a Canadian citizen 
and she's in the movie about uh, with John Cleese and with uh, the Klein character uh, and it's called uh, A Fish Called Wanda yet that is the fish joke that I was telling you about and that this image explains sorry this image so that is the selling of Scotland's freedom and all of the killing of the Scottish Queens by the Salic laws yeah and she is a lovely woman I do not believe for a minute that she is the ancestor of poor people but that is the story that they have released and then she loses her voice for a whole decade yeah because she's got vast tracts of land in Helen Clark's New Zealand where I used to live and I still worshipped her as a singer she wears the Aryan clothes as you can see uh, and she wears the orange jersey and my favourite song is the whole lot that's Aaron where all of the links to those massive Welsh leaders that are the Robertians yeah it's a massive set of interlocking families under jokes and the fish is the penis which is why you get fish on a Friday when the husband gets his pay packet you know all of these stories now and you baste it into bread if you're in the Roman armies that is the cut off the penis yeah that gets wetted every Friday yeah in Gwyneth Paltrow now sells vaginal dishes yeah and that is the joke about the piso being translated into Italian becomes vagina yeah and so the fish is the penis and the hot dog is the joke about when the Romans laid siege to a castle they had a ballista and you see this in El Cid but what they put in that is when the incumbents of the castle are starving to death they have to escape try and find food they get killed by the people in the siege uh, and their penis is cut off put back in bread yeah not in a cannonball and is sent back over the wall and that in the bible stories that the Piso family wrote was the loaves and fishes story feeding the five thousand families that now own the world when they have nine billion people to take the piss out of yeah and to fund the whole of democracy from the taxpayers budget and Corbyn who's now profiteer or claiming to make major policy changes is going to have to borrow the money from those central banks that those uh, <laughs> 5,000 families own so that he can then put it back into the NHS yeah all they need to do is to get people declaring that no we're not going to pay our taxes now we want you to fund the country from the central bank which was founded to do that and that is the stealing of those central banks in 1815 am I clear enough for you all I think that's all the images so there's the hot dog yeah the biggest joke for the team that went to the moon in the movie that they made yeah featuring Barbara Hershey all of it uh, is the hot dog and they give the high fives when they have achieved something sensational and that is the human penis in that joke that goes right back to biblical Naples yeah and that's the reason the Villa Papyri was covered in lava uh, and that is the reason that John Paul Getty who's in the Emperor's bloodlines in Rome yeah uh, named his house the Villa Papyri you're beginning to get bored with the story please pass it on to your neighbours and all of the impoverished people that are now facing homelessness and sleeping in the streets they can read and write now and they are now already in the inner circle uh, and there's the hot dog joke yeah for the German sausages yeah <laughs> yeah and on and on it goes right then so let's go now to one note and show you the bloodlines and I'll get a little bit further down in explaining where we so there's where we start all the time with Alexander the Great and Lagos the Rabbit for Winston yeah and there is the Soter bus, com bus companies there is the arsenals of Arsenal Football Club and all the Cleopatra linkages to the Romans let's just scan 
Okay, and now I'm identifying the people that come into the story with images of them and the dates for them, and I've done it for all of David Icke's bloodline. Yeah, they're not all on the same one page, but there is where we left off yesterday with Marcus Aurelius the Emperor, yet yeah, the lookalike for two of the McGuinness family, spelt differently, but one of them has the word pious in the middle, and that is the giveaway that he's from that family. Yeah, the most powerful mobster in the world, Alpha to Omega, on the Paschal candle every Easter for the death and resurrection of the fictional character. That's the Rolling Stones joke, and on one of those bloodline trees, I've got Mick Jagger's bloodline. That's the reason that Mick Jagger's wife was at that wedding for Murdoch, who was married into Hall, and the Hall woman that's now married to Murdoch was married to Mick Jagger, because that is the Jagalonians of Poland and Austro-Hungary that launched uh, Good King Wenceslas into the story. <laughs> and he uh, prevented the, t the Christians that were being launched in this biggest fraud in history, uh, he prevented them having a tax burden. <laughs> yeah, Christmas Day in the morning. And there's Commodus and Crispina. And there is a picture of their offspring, Flavius Eutropius, pious in it, yet directly linked to the Piso family. Right then, there's Claudia Crispina, and they get second wives, most of them, uh, and uh, they, there they are on the busts, as I showed you in yesterday's video. There's Constantinus Chlorus the first, yeah, and that is the links now to Clovis and the Louis families. Can you see it there? There. Clovis Constantius I, Chlorus, married Theodora, married St. Helena, and all of that is the St. Helena, where uh, <laughs> hundreds of years later, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte was sent into exile at the south of the Atlantic Ocean, down where the oil wealth actually is. <laughs> Okay, and there is Helena the Empress on the Roman coins, mother of Constantine the Great. Yeah, so one more step and we're down to Constantine the Great. And I confessed in yesterday's movie that when you look at him, so there's Flavia Explorer, Emperor Constantine the First the Great is below. That one's called Pietus. Are you getting it? Yeah, this little piggy all the way through world history yeah and every one of those jokes is accompanied with a poem uh, and when it takes you into the butlins family it is uh, their business partner is uh, the woman that i fished with on the river and rode the boat for her uh, she is i forget what her name is it might come back to me before the end of the video do you get it Everything is the pie joke for Gwyneth Paltrow. That is the vagi vaginal dishes and keeping them viable as the biggest joke in world history. Okay, Emperor Constantine the Great married Constantina eh, and married Lucinius as well. Yeah, all of them have got multiple wives. I don't know when the Christian rules about only having one were enforced. Yeah, Lucinius Copernius Piso Frugi that's the piso frugies that ran them in for the Marx Brothers. That is the that is the tootsie fruitsy ice cream jokes and how are you going to make your investment in the racehorse sector? Okay, that's the horse which is the icon for these families all through world history. Yeah, uh, and L Lucius Copernicus piso frugi Lucinius, 35th to 15th January, 38th to 15th January. So that's 38 AD to 69 AD, was a Roman nobleman who lived in the first century, briefly emperor, succeeding Alba, and that is the Alba Lake and the jokes about Alba being Scotland in world history. Okay, there's my wife's name coming in now, Valentinian, marries Justina, the empress, down and down we go, but now we've got dates with it. Yeah, she's 
circa 340 to 388 so it looks as if I've found the wrong one there because that's a big leap from the one before uh, born oh no 321 so we're well down now so Constantine I think was about 200 AD there's Valentinian the second there's uh, and that is killed at 21 that's a boy emperor this is the courtiers manipulating everything that happens now and that's what's happened with the British Kingdom and we're still owned by Germans <laughs> yeah and they change the name all the time like the Greeks that have come in Prince Phil yeah bailed out this week because he knows I will not relent yeah Valentinia Justina married Valentine remarried Valentine the first later and that is the naming of the Valentine's Day I don't know how that date comes about I don't remember when it is but that will be the family that launched the love life because she gets married to the divorced husband second time around <laughs> okay and there's Magnus Sally yeah not the Norse Magnuses but they are now into Constantinople and uh, Eastern Europe as well as Western Europe with the Frankish scandals that mean that all of the wives in France get their heads locked off thanks to that massive joke about uh, Edward the Th Second's wife uh, and all of the rape stories and the infidelity that involved Gaultier and involved Donny in the massive mythological stories written by the world's tyrants that become the fascist leaders in World War Two. John Buchan again. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here's Honorius Flavius, Emperor of Rome, 384 to 423. So they're split up now. Rome is no longer the power base. It's in Ravenna, up, up, opposite, on the eastern coast of Italy, in the place called Venice yeah uh, and that is waterlogged and that is also an act of God yeah uh, and here we've got Arcadius Claudius Claudianus and this stunningly takes you into the Holloways that I fished with yeah who he was a ghillie and he was the man who was the chairman of the Wild Trout Society wore plus fours to be with the posh people all of the time he is related to Arcadius Claudius Claudianus Emperor of Rome yeah and that is Holloway that lived on the Merton estate uh, and was a fishing ghillie I fished with him on the river Test and the river Itchen and when I first met him as the boss of the uh, wild trout society he was feeding rainbow trout which are not wild they're imported with pellets and that is how the whole world has been stolen uh, and has been raped and pillaged compared to how God wanted the world to be or the gods wanted the world to be there is no way that humans can know that he was born in Coca Galicia Spain he died in Rome Roma Lazio Italy that's the Holloway family tree yeah, right back to the Roman emperors and the man was a total twat he's now dead uh, and he's covered up by stories from Ednam House Hotel where the Brookses that are the Colditz family yeah, were related to the Bourbons and all of the Louis that were descended from Clovis Arcadius with the pie pie uh, joke on our head yeah, it's also the Castellations joke and I believe that is the basis for cubism despite what the artists told me last night in Newcastle okay married Eudoxia married Sigis and that is the Sigmund Freud families now coming in and declaring themselves you get it married Sigismund Sigismund is on the bloodlines further down and that is Sigmund Freud's relatives okay we're now into the Merovec Merovingian dynasty and all the tiny little people that are portrayed in the Lord of the Rings movies as Mary, yeah, the four hobbits who went to save the world from the tyrannical orcs 
and that is the orcs that live in the Frankfurt ghetto and all of it for the writer of those stories who wrote at Oxford's richest college which is called Merton like the place that that man lived at yeah the Holloway man that I fished with with Andrew Rice who's part of the Aus uh, the Norwegian nobility uh, and has got massive fishing and he had his heart attack soon after he deserted me after he had invited me to global congresses as one of the world's best neuroscientists <laughs> yeah and he took me fishing down there and all of it he used to try and scare me with the stories about the Norse people getting buried alive in the swampy regions when they were shooting the elks and that is the Elkanen linkage to Rothschild all of them are in the same bloodlines and all of them think they're really clever till the pathologies hit them Merovec Merovi the young married a concubine and this is the Miller's gene semi-legendary king of the Salian Franks and father of Merovec founder of the Merovingian dynasty called the long hair or the hairy because of the length of his hair from then on the Merovingians were called long haired kings and the cutting of a king's hair represented his loss of royal power and on the family bloodlines that happens when they make them bishops they've not got the power or the murderous properties to be killers and army leaders so they make them bishops and they shave their hair off isn't that funny <laughs> okay there is the kingy ones and that is Mary in the Lord of the Rings and there is Dominic Monaghan who plays his role and that is the same name as the Monaghans in my hometown yeah <laughs> uh, and yeah I cannot describe what their life is like okay Chidric Claudius the first married on de Vera and de Vera and that's very real I've got highlighted there and now we begin to get to get into the what are the child companies on the uh, little sis website and that is the Rothschilds, the Evochilds, the Clotildes uh, and Clovis who is Louis of Bourbon like the Brooks that used to own uh, the uh, hotel in Kelso that has all the elite fishers including Chris Tarrant of the Tarantella joke about Italy and all of the families that are treasonous there and that is right down at the heel of Italy uh, and they have perpetually erupting volcanoes down there because Christianity has taken its toll okay Clothar the first Chilperic and I've got no idea what date we're on because uh, these are modern day characters and the actors in that great movie yeah it was my favorite story and when my mum died I had to keep consoled uh, by reading the book by the man J.R.R. Tolkien and I've got his genealogy sussed as well but it's not nearly as important as the family trees let me now take you up to the top of the other trees on my OneNote profile uh, and see what we get okay so that's the transition from the kings and queens and Emperor Constantine the Great after Marcus Aurelius uh, and the Pisas are right up at the top remember that's in the video I made yesterday and there we have Prince Charles of Wales Lady Diana Spencer Elizabeth Prince Philip of Greece George VI married Elizabeth yeah that is not the Elizabeth that it pretends to be that is the maid from downstairs because that Elizabeth realised that stammering King George VI the leading mason in our country of Scotland and in England and in Ireland was in charge of the Masons in Germany too when they have the for profit war and he becomes uh, he becomes uh, I think he's uh, Christopher Robin in the Winnie the Pooh cast list that is the profiteering joke about uh, Churchill being Tigger uh, the rabbits are Hitler's friends and all of it is a massive set of jokes that we own the whole world and we have done since the Bible was faked up in Pi Pi Piso Rome 
Okay, Mary of Tech, and all of them are in that stammering king speech, which is st just another joke at the war dead. There's Queen Victoria, nine of her babies were sired by Rothschild, one was sired by John Brown, that's the Mrs. Brown joke on the telly now. Yeah, all of the things get covered up, and that is Billy Connolly, who is in the world owning bloodlines, if my conspiracy theory of yesterday is correct, because he is uh, descended from Emperor Hadrian, yeah, who built Hadrian's Wall, uh, or sorry, it may be the Emperor that built the uh, Antonine Wall, uh, but he is a massive likeness to, I think it's Hadrian, okay, and that is the wall between Scotland and England uh, that runs right through the city I'm now living in, okay, Edward Duke of Kent married Victoria and that is the Victorias that are the children oh no that is the ancestor of Victoria Queen of Great Britain okay and she had to get married not to Albert that's a bigamous marriage because she was already married to blind Prince George of Cumbria and he's a Hanoverian king and he died in his bed in London after engineering two great conflicts against Germany and he lived safely through all of them yet not one threat of a bomb on Buckingham Palace yet totally immune that is like Heidelberg, Gottingen, yet Oxford and Cambridge because all of the profiteers that write these stories are living in those places yet there's another Augusta yet the Augustine menace Yet the template for false politics and leadership out of the first century in Rome. Right, let's go back up and see what we get above them. And some of the characters will. There's Ingberg of Denmark. Thank you for the conversation last night, the artists in the town. Uh, and the man who came in with the Ing signature on his jersey. And that is just above. St. Louis, yet yeah, that now they are killing the pagans all over Europe and they are sainting themselves when they die, yeah, because they are the mass murderers that have launched Christianity and that's why they get to be saints, isn't it lovely? And they are related to Clovis, who's way up there before the Merovingians were launched. Okay, Lewis, do you get it? You see it? There is Lewis, there is Lewis again. All the way up, yeah. The Ings are the Swedish killers, and they were the biggest killers in the Thirty Years' War uh, when they were fighting Protestant against Catholic. Yeah, massive cause of death, and the witches got burned, and the pagans got burned if they were still around. Yeah, it's absolutely ruthless. Okay, and that is Ing now, who's on the boards of Aegis Defence Limited and is a field marshal for NATO's armies. And there's the Hedwig stories, we get that one in every video. So let's just go up and see what the other bloodlines are on this list and whether I've placed anybody in to show what time they are at on that. So there's, sadly, this is the Inquisition that took all of the Christians were subjected right up to the uh, 19th century, that's 1800 and something, to inquisitions. Watch the movie with Sean Connery in it. You're getting the Connery, Connery connotations now. Yeah, Sean Connery, another Bond man, like uh, the man Craig, uh, that was featured in the Emperor Conspiracy Theory yesterday. Okay, this is not a conspiracy, this is world history and the inquisitions kill everything that moves yeah, unless they bow down to the monarchies that become the saints yeah, and are in this bloodline since Piso faked up the Bible. Yeah, Ferdinand and Isabella, King of Spain and Isabella of Castile launched circa 1492, they launched that massive set of inquisitions that uh, bring down all of the people that contest things, even theologians that are in their teams, if they do not do what they want of them, uh, they get murdered and executed or burnt at the stake. Yeah, King of Aragon, and that is the 
Lord of the Rings joke that the man who is the owner of the new sword and is going to save the world but here we've got the links to Sicily for the Mafia the volcanoes that perpetually erupt down there and Naples where the Bible was faked up by Pizzo yeah <laughs> yeah and the uh, folk of Castile uh, and the folk that appear in my favourite movie which is El Cid yeah and all of it is twisted Frederick II of Swabia that is where they have the Habsburg lips and they go off to the Holy Lands to become the kings of Jerusalem like the uh, Barbarossa lineage uh, and that is the Holy Roman Emperor from Germany <laughs> yeah and I cannot see on that listing the uh, other uh, kings of uh, Jerusalem that is the the Baldwin family that are in the filmmaking uh, scene in Hollywood and there are the Eustaches that are the launch and the owners of uh, Tring Mansion before Rothschild and before Nell Gwynn and before Nell Gwynn became the missus of David Cameron yeah all of them in the same bloodline I was hoping that there were some pictures on this so there's the William the Conqueror and the Sigismund Sigisbert Robertian dynasties all interbreeding now with the Capets yeah, and there's Arne Schwarzenegger's bloodline that ends up in the holy city of Los Angeles in California that is more earthquake prone than anywhere else in the even in the ring of fire when Christianity was being sent out to the South Pacific even after the inquisitions were over yeah now we cannot smack our babies it's time to end it all Hannah Mary Rothschild and young Nathan okay and I was hoping that we could get some dates for this but let's just see what the other bloodlines are so there we are up to Constantine the Great again uh, there we are King Herod yeah, in Rome with Aristobulus and all the aristocracy and the bus company jokes for Soter who's right at the top is he? oh yeah it's right at the top under Lagos are you learning it? there's the arsenal jokes again yeah, repetition I'll get it into your head if it takes me a couple of weeks yeah, the Soters of the bus empire that are Souter in Scotland Jamesy Souter in Rabsey Nisbet and Anne Gloag Scotland's richest woman yeah and our son committed suicide in the woods and that is an act of God too because they are stealing from the whole world and that's why she will not let you roam in our woods anymore that's a massive breach and there are Ferdinand of Spain and Isabella again oh sorry am, am I going in the wrong direction oh no we're <laughs> okay so loads of them there are branch points that I can explain further along the tab I've got it all sussed I've got it all archived, I've got it all backed up yeah, if they take me down I want you to make a terrible fuss yeah, because this is the biggest cause of world death and if David Icke has been taken down uh, then I would like to get in touch with the replacements yeah, and see if I can interrogate them and see whether or not their knowledge base is as great as his was okay but he confirms that all of these charts come from the Tutsi website which has been totally dismembered by the powers that be that drive those fast cars past your window every time you're making a movie of this importance okay and we're now into Maximilian Emperor of Mexico this is the links to Charles V of Lorraine who's married to the Habsburgs and the biggest money lenders and he has an empire that is almost as big as Queen Elizabeth II's is now because he's in the same fucking bloodline but his bloodline runs out because they're not smart enough at that stage to start interbreeding with the money lenders that Jesus warned us about yet yeah, so they die off at his point yeah that's Charles V of Spain I think 
uh, and he owns huge chunks of Latin America and the peso currency is still used in Donald's enemies that are Mexico just across the border. Do you get it now? Yeah, that's the peso that means vagina which is why Donald grabs fannies all through his electoral campaign just to show them that it's still us that run the world. Yeah, the richest families, Habsburg moneylenders with the Habsburg jaw and the Habsburg lip, like Queen Elizabeth II, who's in the bloodline. Yeah, where else can we go? Okay, the Denmark connection, René de Bourbon, yeah, yeah, the Louis families, Ireland de Bar. I got it wrong, I met bars the other night in the pub and they told me that they were incapable of having babies uh, and I thought that there were no bars in the story at that point <laughs> okay Ireland of Aragon John the Good married Bona yeah, not only up in the Roman court getting married to Piso Arius Copernius Piso ma married the Bonea woman okay uh, and Louis the first of Anjou and that is where Eleanor of Aquitaine and all of those uh, kings and persecuted queens uh, queens and persecuted queens like Catherine of Aragon came from uh, and they were not entitled to be monarchs which is why they were sold off to the people that were King Henry the second in Scotland father of King John the body who's on the bloodline but was the baddie in the Robin Hood movies and the Leopold of Austria kidnapping never happened that is Hollywood changing the story with the passage of time <laughs> Louis the Fat yeah and we're right up into Robertian and Capetan bloodlines are you getting the gist of it now none of them are from outer space all of them are from the corrupted wombs yeah that are just above the piezo pie that is their birthing chamber <laughs> and that's why the Vistula River is so important in Poland because that is part of the birthing apparatus Louis the German married Emma of Bavaria yeah, holy Roman emperors kings of Israel and Jerusalem so that they can do the mass murders in the name of loving your neighbour that Jesus demanded of them that was written by Arius Copernius Piso that is the story from Alpha to Omega okay I've not got any pictures or dates on any of these trees I'm la slowly catching up with all of that information don't think I've got any dates oh, here's another tree Charlemagne yet yeah, the branch point the break off of Charlemagne the Holy Roman Emperor and he's got the Pepins and all the little Hobbit stories above him uh, Professor Evan Begg was one of my great heroes in New Zealand yeah uh, and Professor uh, Professor <laughs> uh, what was his name it's a Jewish name it's one of the diaspora leaders uh, and he's uh, oh goodness Abraham Cliff Abraham yeah, will be from the Jewish community and he is I've shown him the likeness to Abraham in the ancient pictures of Abraham being ordered by God allegedly in the Piso stories to execute his son yeah, because of some demand from the heavens yeah, that's the burning bushes jokes uh, and that is uh, my great hero uh, and still one of the leaders in New Zealand we used to meet every year in the Alps yeah, like they do in the Alps in Europe but not to plan the leading of the whole world and the stealing of every bank in it Cliff Abraham led the pledge to, to pursue knowledge in neuroscience and there's so much of that now that no single person can absorb it all but I hope all of you are getting the gist of this story yeah all of those people that I've met in my life and been influential there there is Sigismund Freud 
yeah, and the Berti dynasty that were just proclaiming in the Stammering King movie that they don't want to let, that just to let them know that it is us and there is a child company below them. <laughs> Hannah Mary, yeah, Tring Mansion, all of it massively intertwined. Uh, right then, I think that I've been a bit lazy on these ones. The presidential lines are <laughs> much more interesting because all of the presidents are related to Charlemagne. <laughs> 40 plus of them. Yeah, that's the Charlemagne Prize that Tony Blair has won, that Von uh, Rompuy has won. Yeah, that's the European leaders that are now negotiating with Theresa May of the Austrian nobility that was defamed in 1919. And there's George III, the mad George King. Yeah, I think I've got some of that filled in. Yeah, with ancestors. And there's the Deverers that play rugby for Wales. Yeah, and the Ingberg and St. Louis again. Yeah, so loads of crossover points that take you into Germany and that is the German Freemasons that came across uh, until we had mad King George III and he was allowed to be mad as a hatter so the courtiers could manipulate everything uh, until he had reigned for 60 years and the Queen, who's still German yeah, but now likes to be called Windsor now uh, is the only person in world history who's reigned longer than Mad King George. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I've been so reluctant to put dates on any of those trees in that one. I'll have to get onto that. So there's Marie Antoinette again, and the Lewises that is descended from Clovis. Can you see how close the breeding is? And the Medici stories. Yeah. Count of Vendome, uh, all over Europe, yeah, same families, same monikers, slightly different trees, and the power brokers that launch every war come out at the bottom, or every inquisition, or every holy war, and even Sweden, yeah, where they're civilised, but the king smokes the piezo pipe, as I told you the other day. Yeah, and the king negotiates with Bernhard the Nazi who became the negotiator of the settlements after World War II and a massive aircraft profiteer through the companies that were owned by de Havilland who is the good person in the Robin Hood movie. <laughs> yeah, Maid Marian played by de Havilland in the Robin Hood movie. Crispus Commodus Trajan the Empire, and here we're back to the Pisos. As always, Silius, yeah, and all the stories I told you about the Sid James and those people being the descendants of the emperors that are right up here with King Herod. Uh, I think we'll go on to the other tab because it can only be more interesting than this one. We've been right through that and we've not found a picture of any of the people. Oh, yeah, here we go. So this is the break point on Char Charlemagne's tree, okay, that is Sigisbert, Sigmund Freud and the Robertians, Sigisbert 4, Sigisbert 5 and that is Magdalen College Oxford, they are marrying into Magdalena, who's the slut in the Bible, <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's where I met in Magdalen College, the woman that is the actress that plays Miss Jean Brodie, and plays the driver of the yellow van now and her name is Maggie Smith because she's in the bloodline <laughs> yeah and that is right back into the emperor generations from the pictures that are published yesterday okay so the break point for the Charlemagne here uh, that takes you down another line to King George of Germany yeah and then King George of England and the Irish Freemasons yeah that's George the first to George the third yeah and the launch of those families from Hanover into Britain yeah uh, and so that is 
Giselle de Raz is the ancestor and that is the break point on the Charlemagne tree that means that he disappears occasionally but not for the people that went to America okay so there's Clovis and the Lewis thing and there's the Merovingians let's go to this no we might have filled it in up at the top to Bourbon Antonet and Al Mexico Charles V of Austria so that's the biggest empire in the world before the Queens uh, and then the bloodline runs out George III of the UK they leave the US presidential bloodlines at the Raz and weak evidence from the Piso bloodline okay so they're still in the Piso bloodline but that's the splits that launch all the monarchies all over Europe and this is Barbarossa and this is uh, I think on one of the trees here this is the uh, Holy Roman Emperors and Kaiser B oh no there's Kaiser Bill let's get him in I've got oh no I'm just about out of time so there in the Washington story that I've told you already this week is George Washington first US president there's the Ball Mafias the launch of Alan Ball and the beautiful woman that I used to listen to after uh, Terry Wogan retired yeah, she was a ball person and she's married to a person that sings about worship you <laughs> I forget what his name is and all of it is just covers there's the Warner Brothers filling in with Lawrence Washington yeah and that is the Warners that came from Poland as covers for World War two and became the major propagandists and the launch of the Fox News Empire which now Rupert Murdoch entirely owns yeah, there's the butlers of the butler movies of Rhett Butler and everything that happened in those rebellious generations all of it was run by profit way back in that American war of independence the sandbags were provided by the Fleming family of Dundee Ian Fleming's great grandpa yeah, and that is the Flamings that were religious clerics in pagan Italy <laughs> and there's the Suttons of the Sutton school the most expensive school in Britain there's the de Hollands of the Holland dynasty that were massive crooks in the French presidency okay so these modern day revelations and there are countesses of Kent's and the pretense that the Plantagenet aspirations have disappeared and that's just two generations after Edward de Longshanks <laughs> yeah so uh, I don't think I've got time it's 87 uh, and that usually my videos run out before then uh, but I could show you the Kaiser bloodline just to finish off or what well, I'll show you that in tomorrow's video and who's at the bottom of the bloodline yeah all of them related to the Bible authors yeah and to the Roman emperors uh, and to the false newsmen and to there's the Jagalonian dynasty there's the Hohenzollerns that is Kaiser Bill's family Jagalonian is Mick Jagger yeah and that is the Polish and all of the places where Kaiser Bill had his uh, shooting lodges before they had to burn them down and all of that is the same story for all of the great castles and when I went to uh, when I went to George Washington's family ancestral home the other day they explained to me the fala thing is the periods of fallow uh, uh, of uh, fallow is the periods when you let the land alone to recover so it begins to fix the nitrogen again and it's the equivalent of using manure on the land yeah and that is the fallow place where uh, Franklin D Roosevelt's ancestors who were the Murrays of Selkirk they lived in those fallow farms up the valley which are now the land that is owned by Perseus the poet aka Percy, the Duke of Northumberland. So I'll save Kaiser Bill's bloodline till tomorrow, yeah? Uh, and I'll show you that he's at the bottom. Okay, and there's the family trees. Yeah.
the Wenceslas stories and the Premslids who are Prem Sika, my professorial mate at the University of Essex. <laughs> and goodness knows what their girls are like. Okay, Hedwig Jagalonian. Do you get it? The people that were at Murdoch's wedding are the folk that were married before they married Murdoch to Mick Jagger and that is the Jagalonian dynasty of Eastern Europe where all the great genocides were committed. Okay, I think I should stop now because we're at seven. Oh no, I, I get 60. I get. No, I, I can show you the Kaiser's bloodline. <laughs> okay, Wilhelm's tree. Let's get a move on. Let's we'll start from the bottom. Okay, Kaiser Wilhelm, William II of Schleswig Holstein. Yeah, up we go. We get Princess Victoria, the daughter of Queen Victoria married to a Frederick yeah in the same bloodline so do you get it that is the daughters of Rothschild that is the people who sired Queen Victoria's nine babies before John Brown who may be Billy Connolly's relatives yeah and you get the links of that to the Roman Empire now after yesterday's video okay and up we go and there's Augusta of Warm Weimar the Augusta joke is all through world history because that is inept politicians. Yeah, and the template for Donald. Louisa of Hesse Darmstadt, Frederick William III, Augustus William, and I think we'll get Barbarossa up here somewhere. Sigismund, yeah, do you get it? Sigmund Freud and all of the links to Donald through the family names that are that are uh, the drunks, yeah, that's the little drummer boy joke for uh, him and for David Bowie, who sings the little drummer boy song with uh, with Crosby, Bing Crosby. All of them in these bloodlines, all of it a sleazy little joke through all of world history. So the little drunks is Donald when he was in the Palatinate and in his family tree uh, I've made several videos look up Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton uh, and George Lees on the internet and you'll find the massive truth about how the Rothschilds marry into these families how the Percys marry into them how the people from the Scottish islands marry into Donald Trump's murderous bloodline because he's a war criminal in Iraq and the Holy Lands too He's on two of the big four oil companies. And can you hear the diversionary tactics of the Piso Polis outside? Yeah. Hedwig of Poland, J.K. Rowling's cast again, Jagiello of Luthien Lithuania. Yeah, and that is the naming of Leith in Edinburgh. Cis Lithuania and Trans Lithuania. Vladislav. Jadwig of Anjou, Louis the Great of Anjou, so they're now across in Normandy, out of Poland and out of Austria-Hungary, and Donald will not let Islamic people into America now. Yeah, and Islam was launched by the same Piso family. Charles Martel, the champagnes, yeah, massive expensive champagnes, and the Ingbergs again. Okay, I don't think we're going to learn much from that. But we could look at the individuals that are in the bloodline. And I thought I'd done that and planted them in there. Uh, and that's us back to Piso. So for some... Oh yeah, here's another bloodline. But this time I've put the pictures in. And the dates... Okay, so there's Sig Sigismund, Elector of Brandenburg, from 1572 to 1619. Uh, do you get the Sigmund Freud jokes? Yeah, and the Freud leading the Chipping Norton set now, who is married to uh, young... Uh, that's Elizabeth Murdoch, is married to Freud Jr. Uh, and that is the descendants of 
Sigmund and the launch of psychiatric sectioning in Britain and the launch of psychiatric sectioning, sectioning with the massive links to the Hesses of Hamilton and Hamilton is still the hub for sectioning in Scotland under race courses and Archie Hamilton was Mrs Thatcher's private secretary and I've got all his director numbers and all his links to the massive governmental mafias let's go to the top and see how far back we go yeah that's the Jagger yeah the reason Mick Jagger's wife is married to Murdoch is cause they just keep it in the family all the time <laughs> and isn't he fit looking as a result of that okay so there's Ingberg of Denmark let's go down again and I think that is oh shit oh no okay so Casimir the fourth married Elizabeth of Austria Sigismund the old yeah there he is Sigismund do you get it that is the Sigmunds that become the world owning Mund is world I'm not sure what Sig stands for uh, and there is Sigismund the first married Bar Barbara of Transylvania which is where the uh, vampires come from in the horror stories launched by the Hollywood Star Wars team Barbara Zappaloli, Bona, yeah, the Bonas from the Piso bloodline, Arius Copernius Piso was married to one of those. <laughs> Hedwig Jagalone, Electress of Brandenburg, yeah, that's Berlin now, the Berlin Wall and the Brandenburg Gates, and all the golden yellow road, yellow brick road to Berlin. It's right across on the Polish frontier and it's right across where the death camps were it's not in the middle of Germany and that's the huge joke about building the Berlin Wall to partition the country yeah, it's right on the steps of Poland uh, and all of the genocides were committed there Miss Merkel in the bloodlines ok and there is jo Joachim II Hector Elector of Brandenburg, Hedwig of Poland, married Magdalene the slut in the Bible of Saxony, and married Hedwig of the J.K. Rowling cast. <laughs> yeah, married Joachim the Second of Brandenburg, Hohenzollern. Yeah, that's the Hohenzollerns that become Kaiser Bill further down. Yeah, and we are now up to 1525 to 1598. <laughs> John George of Brandenburg, Elector of Brandenburg, and that's the electors of the Holy Roman Emperors that come and sell, take their country's armies to Jerusalem, Jerusalem to brutalise it as it was written by Piso. A total fraud in this concept that one should love your gl global neighbours and not uh, spread ethnic hatred through the whole world. John George, married mistress, Sophia of Legnica, mum to Joachim, Sabina of Brandenburg, that's the Sabinas uh, and the Sabius Sabine women that are in the T. Flavius. <laughs> yeah, T. Flavius links to the Patterson family. Yeah, the Patterson is, yeah, that's the father of God's son. Do you get it? <laughs> Elizabeth of Anhalt-Zerbst, Johann Frokem, Frederick, Elector of Brandenburg, yeah, looking a bit like uh, something with the moustaches that could be linked to the eustaches of Belong and Tring. Okay, Joachim Frederick, Mistress, jo John Sigismund, Elector of Brandenburg, married Anna. John Sigismund is 1572 uh, and we're getting close now to the 16th, the 17th century when those 30 year wars and the pilgrims sailed yeah do you get it this is false religion yeah and holy roman empires all the way to Jerusalem so that they can be murderous and ethnic hatred tools all of them launched by the same Piso family 
it's very grey and gloomy looking outside <laughs> yeah lock up your daughters yeah just in case these guys pass by John Sigismund married Anna daughter of Alfred Albert Frederick Duchess Anna of Prussia George William married Elizabeth